It's nearing the end of February. Uh, it's interesting that we've still got a fire season here. The days are getting shorter. Um, the weather is starting to change, but we've still got a fire season that people need to be conscious about. It's interesting with the days being shorter, um, we're seeing a, a slightly different change in the weather. I think over the weekend we've seen that uh, slightly cooler, shorter days meant a little bit more moisture around, and uh, we certainly welcome that. But we haven't seen the change in any way with the fuel conditions. That means that we've still got dry grass and bushland across Victoria, and that's the key factor at the moment. This week um, we'll see uh, a cooler week, uh, a more mild week and potential of lightning early in the week which means we could have other starts of fire. But also we're going to see the potential for showers and rain and we certainly welcome the, the word about rain and if we get that, that will uh, change the landscape dramatically and we can only hope that it's widespread but that may not be the case. So stay tuned to the forecast and the Bureau will do its best to make sure we get the weather that uh, is best for us. The other thing though, it's interesting to reflect back on last week. The fire that was in, uh, it started at Donnybrook um, early in the week. A hot day, not a windy day, but saw uh, a grass fire move at three, four, five kilometres an hour. And uh, in three hours was sitting right on the edge of, uh, of the metropolitan area and caused a lot of concerns to those that lived in outer metropolitan area. The urban fringe, or what we call the urban rural interface, is something we need to be very conscious of. We've done a lot of work since then, in the last week, about understanding better the types of communities that are on the interface. We know them well, but we actually went and had a look at a lot more information about where the schools are, the childcare facilities, and we're going to make a really focus if we have uh, a, a fire in that area, in any of those areas, in the next two weeks, that we really do tune a lot closer to the schools, because I think that's where a lot of the concern was. If you're a parent, you'd be looking for what the kids are doing. If it's after 3.30, where the kids are. And I think that's one of the things that, uh, that we certainly focused on last week. To you, as uh, someone that's out there, whether you're a school child or whether you're a parent, think about the school hours. Think about what happens for those two or three hours after school finishes. People are on public transport. Where are they? What would they do if the fire started? What would they do if they couldn't get home because the bus didn't make it or the train didn't? So there's lots of things to think about, and I think that's the action this week, is to think about what it means to be a person that lives in urban, uh, urban areas, whether it be in Melbourne or some of our provincial cities, if a fire was near you and it's close to your home that you don't normally think a fire would be.